Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. And now that we have found out our central mission of the game, we're gonna... Well, we're gonna go back to the old man for now. And there are probably gonna be quite a few battles along the way, so that means more editing for me! Hooray! I think I'll leave one battle in just so you guys can see something kind of interesting. Yeah, as you can see, uh, Chrono's theme, the music playing here, is playing instead of the normal battle music. It's just something kind of interesting, I think. Okay, I'm probably gonna cut out the rest of the return trip because it's really not that interesting. I'm just fighting and then running upstairs, so... I will see you guys back at the main part of the dome. Okay, welcome back. And now we're going to go talk to the old man and see what he has to say. And everyone else is pretty amazed that we're alive because no one else has ever come back alive from that area. Marl, I really don't think that's going to make sense to them. It's the present to them. Yeah, the seeds are probably the one, th one bit of information that they're going to find relevant, to their lives at least. And as you can tell, in this bleak future, they do not really have the will to live. Well, at least they're going to give it a shot. Ah, it's already time for the race. Well, actually, there's something else I can do first, and that's to go through sewer access. You can wait until a lot later in the game to do that, but I'll do that now, because the experience from battles there is much more useful in this part of the game. And we are still hungry. I wonder if we'll ever find food. Maybe a protodome. We'll see. Anyway, on to sewer access. It's over here in this dome-like area. Actually, yeah, over here. Yeah, we could go to Lab 32 and do the race now, but let's get this out of the way first. Who's Sir Crawley? Hmm. Now we get to fight these guys. Yeah. Use your uh, slash attack or flame toss. They're both pretty effective against these enemies. Yeah, there you go, Luca. I got both of them. I didn't kill the Egder. Hmm. Okay, Marl leveled up. I think we're all 11 now. Well, we're all level 11. I think the characters are supposed to be a bit older than 11. Anyway. I'll just use regular attacks. There are only two of them, and I don't think I can fire whirl them. Yeah, they've got some nasty attacks like that one. Being struck by lightning. We'll see that again, believe me. The lightning attack will come back. And they also have this bubble attack here, which we will also see again at some point. Okay, not that hard. Oh, I love this part right here. Yeah, these frogs are conf at least one of these frogs is confused about why there isn't a bridge here. Fool! Gribbit! There's nothing here! <laughs> I love that. Let's scram, Gribbit! Gribbit. What kind of frog growls and then ribbits at the same time? <laughs> oh, come on, you guys. We will find far spookier places than sewer access. So the deal with this area is... If you make the slightest noises and talk to the cat or try and get any other items laying around, we'll start a battle, like this one. And yeah, pretty much you'll always be fighting these Nerides. And so... Pretty much, Fire Whirl is your friend here. If they're close enough together, that is. 
Come on, aren't you dead yet? That should kill it. Okay, I guess I can use the experience. It's not as much as I thought it would be. Okay, see? More items around here. Like a soda can. And more battles to cut out, because you guys don't need to see me fight all these guys. Okay, I think there's one more. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that one. It's a fake save state. Well, I'm not sure if you call it a save state, but whatever. Okay, I should be able to slash these guys up. Alright, that did it. And we only got 36 experience points. Nothing else. No tonics, no nothing. Okay, here's where it gets a bit tricky. It looks like a dead end here, but you can actually run through this way and hit this switch over here. And then you run through this way. You can go through that door you just opened up. And these guys are back. <laughs> well, that's pathetic. A frog can't... Uh, that, that's so pathetic. And there he is, gribbiting away. And we are about to fight kind of a mini-boss here, Sir Crawley. And if you fight him now, he's still pretty easy, but if you fight him later, he is incredibly easy. He must have a death wish. <laughs> he really thinks he can beat us. He's he's not even that hard now. They seem to find it very funny that we're about to beat him up. Okay, so the deal with this guy is that he has two attacks. One takes away all but one hit point, and another does about 40 to 50 damage. But sometimes I'll do both of those attacks to the same character, like Chrono's getting the uh, all but one hit point attack right now. Luckily, we've got a healer in the party. And so we can just have Moral do Aura. No problem at all, really. So basically the technique I'd suggest is just do Fire Whirl with Chrono and Luca, and then have Moral do Aura to whoever Sir Crawley picks on. And yeah, he's really picking on Chrono now. So just use Aura. And it's a piece of cake, really. And I think this should do it right here, actually. This Fire Whirl attack. Hmm, maybe not. He must be close to being dead. Yeah, there he goes. He must have had, like, two hit points left or something. Anyway... Pretty much easiest boss ever. I wouldn't even consider him a boss, because he doesn't even get the boss music. He just gets the regular battle music. How lame is that? But we leveled up. Well, Chrono did. Ah, oh, another battle. That was surprisingly easy, actually. Especially with Slash and Flame Toss. Anyway, now let's open up the bridges. Do what that frog couldn't do. Ooh, a bolt sword. I think Chrono can use that. Yep, that's a bit of an improvement. Okay, now we're gonna go to Death Peak, actually. And the only thing we can do there is get a power tab. We'll be going there again a lot later. I mean, much later in the game. But we can always use a power tab, so why not? I'll just give that to Chrono here. Okay, now we're gonna head over here to the Keeper's Dome. And the stuff you're gonna hear... The stuff that the uh, characters here are gonna say you're not really gonna understand just yet if you've never played the game. <laughs> I am pleased you think me worthy, Zero Wise One. I await your program code. <laughs> That's pretty good.
Okay, don't worry if you didn't understand any of that, because it will all be explained in due time. Along with those boxes and doors we can't open. Yeah, there's a specific part of the game where a lot of the mysteries all come together. Yeah, pretty quick trip, really. Okay, so next time we're gonna go do the race in Lab 32 against the man. Thanks for watching. See ya.